I'm Oliver Trevina here with Young Hollywood on set of Disney XD's Kicking It. And I'm gonna go kick it with Leo Howard and the cast. Follow me. We are kicking it right now. Yeah, it welcome to the set. I'm gonna give you a quick tour. It's gonna be pretty sweet. This is uh, where we shoot the show. This is a little separate building where all the dressing rooms are this way. And this way is makeup and hair. Yes. Because uh, on this show, dudes get makeup too. Hey guys. Hi. He's getting, he's getting the most awesome thumb put on right now. It's pretty awkward. I got squirt with milk with this today. It's because it's supposed to be a cow udder. Oh, wow. Slightly odd. Wow. Yeah, is that comfortable? Really comfortable. I'm hoping to get the whole set. What, what part of hair and makeup do you like the least? We shouldn't ask that in the makeup part? room. No, uh, <laughs> actually my favorite part is getting to like talk about my life and vent because when you walk in here it's always either early in the morning or late at night so you're venting about something and they always listen and give you good advice and stuff like that uh, and he gets the, head massages and I stuff do now. oh I do wow head, head massages yeah hot towels hot towels wow. is pretty like right here check it out towel warmer what that's crazy who gets that cool, this is one. you this is me right there I'm doing my thinking this is you so good. with Dylan yeah. the towel this is, this is is that your thinking face that's my th sort of uh, it's my uh, it's my hey I'm kind of posing for the camera but I'm still gonna act like I'm thinking face is that your truck oh yeah that this one's my oh, truck wow. and uh, I love that truck it was actually my grandpa's truck and he passed away and he left me the truck oh that's amazing so uh, it's, it's got sentimental value to me you know we're gonna run on set I think they need me on set okay oh, This is it, Welcome. this is the Wasabi Academy. This is, this is really exciting. This is a new set to Fourth Season, so they built this set uh, for Fourth Season at the beginning, and we've been using it, it's really cool. We got a sweet bench press bar over there, we got a juice bar. This is my favorite part, the fact that we have like a second level here. It's kind of unique. Uh, we didn't have that season one, two, or three. Um, but now it's season four. Season four! Because the show's gone to season four. Four seasons. Pretty four sweet. seasons, yep. so take that with you seasons four. that ended after one. Ha yes. <laughs> ha This is the famous weight bench. Uh, yeah. You, How much can you bench, bro? Do you even lift? I need some prep talk. I need right. some, like, build me up. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh. One shot, bro. If you do this, I can honestly say. Can I be in kicking it? You'll be in kicking it for the rest of the season. Mm. No control over that. Uh. All right, ready? One, two, three. Mm. Uh. Mm. Squeeze. Come on. Oh. Uh. uh oh. Whoa. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Hey, uh, you guys want to go to the other side of the set? So uh, let me continue this tour over here. So uh, we're going through. I'm the new host, actually. Mm. Welcome to Young Hollywood. Come here, Leo. Nope. Uh, uh, so this is the courtyard. This is also new to season four. It's got kind of a beach, like boardwalk theme. Uh, it's called the Wharf Courtyard. That's what we call it. We've got the beach that way. Uh, Tada! Magic shop in Falafel Phil's uh, was a place in our our show, and now it's a bowl and burger instead of just a restaurant. So. Ex everyone's expanding. Everyone's expanding. Wasabi uh, Academy, Falafel Phil's. The idea was that uh, Rudy and Phil, who are two characters in our show, uh, hit it big with some money uh, in a lottery, and they then upgraded and bought this new place and stuff, and it's much more fun and uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, this guy right here is one of my best friends. This is Dan. Hey, say hey, Dan. Dan, don't do it. Life isn't that bad. <laughs> don't jump. <laughs> we can get you on to season four. If you look closely at him, you'll recognize him as henchman number one, henchman number two. Uh, you've been the spy guy. He's been a dead pirate. He's been a security guard. He's been an escaped convict. He's been it all. I fought Dan more than I fought any other human being. This is Phil's new set. With uh, the bowling balls. Yep. I see the bowling balls. Yep, exactly. And then this is usually a bowling alley. But for this week, it's a pelican exhibit. Yes, you had real life pelicans. We do, the they're pretty today. giant actually. They're like the African pelicans, which are bigger than the uh, California ones. They're like four or five feet tall. It's ridiculous. I've never seen a bird that big. Yeah, this is craft this services. Is, this is a date, kitchen. date mammal. Yeah, you want some? Try it. I've never tried one. I thought it was chocolate at first, but try it. What do you think? Yeah, it's good? Mm. You can lie, it's okay. No. It? It's not good, is it? No, it's probably not good. It doesn't look good. No, honestly. It's not good. <laughs> I try. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> Are they the pelican food? This is pretty cool. Our producers were cool enough to uh, build us a little bit of a man cave, which is cool. And all of us play instruments, and this is kind of a hangout spot. And you're good on the guitar, right? I love to play guitar. It's a passion of mine, so, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Man let's, of let's multi talents, this guy, I tell you. <laughs> 
martial arts is a massive part of the show, and you you grew, actually done it before the show. You grew up doing martial arts. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've been doing martial arts since I was four years old, and that's just been a passion of mine. I did that before I even got into the acting industry at all. And uh, uh, lucky enough, I got to incorporate it in the show, which was pretty cool. I'd never done uh, uh, comedy before this, and I got to mix two things. Uh, comedy and mm. action. It's never been done before, so I thought it was a really cool opportunity, and I'm so glad I did it. It's uh, been a blast, and uh, it's been great. It's amazing, and also, one huge factor right now, in February you directed your first episode. It was cool because I've always wanted to be a director, and I got to start on a show that I've been on since mm -hmm. the start, so I know the show uh, as good as anyone else, so it was really cool to get to actually uh, get in front of the ship and uh, lead it, you know? And how was it directing the rest of the cast? Because obviously they were your friends right, and stuff right. like that. Uh, it actually made it better because I know how they like to take notes and I know uh, how they respond to different things, so it made it easier actually. I, I talked to them how I know that they uh, they responded best and we got a great performance and they all turned it on for me and uh, just did a great job. They really brought it up that episode. The cool thing, my dad got to be in an uh, episode. He was a guest star on King. I heard this awesome. in this academy, right? Was right. that right? He got to be a <clears throat> deranged bodybuilder that came into the show. It uh, totally doesn't fit. I've seen his dad and yeah, it doesn't fit <laughs> at, at all. all. Not at all. <laughs> his dad could say whatever he liked and I wouldn't argue with him. And what can we expect from season four? Uh, season four has got a lot of everything. Obviously, it's just bigger and better. We have uh, new sets, crazy sets, bigger fights, and uh, it's just a lot more than you expect, for sure. I feel insanely out of shape next to this, man, so I'm going to wrap it up and go hit the gym. There you go. Leo, Let's absolute go pleasure. Please slow down. Slow down a little bit. I'll try. I don't yeah. know if I can. Just take a break. <laughs> Thanks, man. Cool.